Hey there, my name is Louie. I'm the founder and CEO of Eat This Much. And in this video, I'm going to do a quick run through of the professional and trainer features. Uh, so just kind of the main workflows that you would use if you sign up for our trainer plan. Um, so this is kind of, as soon as you sign up for the pro plan, it's going to look very familiar. It's very similar to uh, just the standard interface when you pay for the normal premium Eat This Much subscription. So you're going to end up on this planner page. And the main difference you'll notice is that there's kind of four other tabs over here for managing your clients. So this is kind of a, an important distinction here is that the planner here is going to be the same one that you had if you had a premium account before. And it kind of just becomes your planner sandbox. So you can kind of set up uh, meal plans, generate diets, and then you save them and you can apply them to your clients. This is kind of separate from anything that your clients can see. This is kind of just for messing around, making meal plans, um, and just kind of testing things out with the planner, and it's, it's separate from anything that your clients have. So I'm just gonna start by saying there's three main ways to use the uh, trainer account that it kind of just depends on how involved you wanna be with uh, your client's meal plans. So the first way is kind of the most hands-off uh, you can just kind of add clients, you can invite them, uh, send them an email invite, or you can just create the accounts yourself uh, by entering their email address, name, password, and then it'll run through the sign-up process uh, with you just kind of setting all of their targets and food restrictions, etc. Or you can just send them an e email invite, they'll create their own account, uh, and then they'll be in your account. Uh, you don't have to do anything then if you don't want to, it'll just be... Uh, connected to your account and you can later on maybe just check into their account to see how they're doing. One thing I should add is if your client uh, is kind of using the account on their own, they'll still see your logo. Uh, if you upload one, they'll see your logo kind of in the upper left hand corner. And if they download uh, PDFs of their meal plans or their meal plan emails, those will have your logo as well. So there'll be some branding that kind of lets them know that they're using this account that is tied to you and that you're still kind of uh, viewing their stuff. The second main way to use uh, Eat This Much with your clients is to be a little bit more hands-on so you can invite them to create their account and then you can kind of apply meal plans that you make yourself and apply that to their account. So let's see so here, I can see edit client plans and then you can see a list of your clients. And you can go to actions and you can apply meal plan sets to their account. So what I've done before this is in my own meal planner here, I've maybe created a handful of meal plans that I thought maybe my clients would like. Then you can go to diet actions and save those meal plans into sets. So I've already saved a few. You can see them in this uh, save meal plan section. Um, what I've done is I've made a few different meal plans at different calorie levels, a keto plan, a high protein plan, uh, you can save it for different numbers of days, up to uh, around 30 days, so almost a full month. Um, and also a 1500 calorie plan. And what I've done is uh, I can save these, and then you can go to Edit Client Plans, Actions, Apply a Meal Plan Set. You set a starting date for that meal plan, and then you can select one of your saved plans. So maybe I'm going to give this client a, a ketogenic meal plan, 2150 calories. So I can say apply this set to their account. And you can see that it's kind of active for these dates now that they have this plan applied to them. Um, and if you ever want to get a little bit more involved and maybe make some customizations for that client, you can say view edit this client's account and you'll suddenly be using their account directly. So uh, and you'll see this green bar at the, top of the, at the top of the page kind of showing you that yes, you are viewing this client's account just to remind you that if you do make any changes here, it is only affecting their account and not yours. Um, you can see your logo over here. If I had filled out a little more information on my test account, they would see that there too. Um, and if you want to make any changes here, you can kind of generate this and it will uh, update update their meals to kind of match, match what they're looking for. Um, so this is good if you kind of want to let your clients have a little bit of flexibility. Maybe they see something in the plan that they don't really like, they can regenerate it or if they do eat something else entirely, they can hit this search foods button over here. Maybe they ate out at a restaurant. They could say they ate this uh, cheeseburger. They could add that there and then remove uh, what, uh, what they originally had planned and their nutrition will update and kind of 
you can kind of go into their account, see that, and just kind of see how how well they're adhering to their plans. So I'm going to scroll up and go back to my own account up here. Now I'm back on uh, my test trainer account. So that's, that's pretty much the gist there. Uh, you kind of have a lot of those same options here with searching for foods, ordering for groceries, uh, etc. Um, so say someone does order their groceries, uh, let's pretend I'm in a client's account now, but I'm just in my sandbox account. Uh, you can view your groceries for whatever set of plans that you have. You can order grocery delivery. Your clients can do the same thing. Uh, you can buy ingredients off Amazon Fresh or Instacart right now, uh, hoping to add some more options in the future. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of things you and your client can do. If you just want to use Eat This Much on your own, you can do that too. So the, uh, the third main way of using Eat This Much with your clients is a little bit different from the first two. Um, and this is kind of uh, the least flexible for your clients. Maybe you just want to create the meal plans for them and then give maybe give them a, down, a PDF download or send them an email with it. Uh, you can do that by going here with send plan emails. So say you added a client here. Uh, you can say preview or print or email plans. Um, and you don't actually have to email this to anyone particularly. Uh, you can just kind of say preview and edit your email and it'll actually give you a PDF editor that you can view what they would, what your clients would be sent. Uh, you can toggle editing to kind of edit any piece of text in this PDF. Um, if you do have a logo, it'll show up at the top of this, at the top of this uh, email here and you can edit that or change that um, and otherwise you can download the PDF like so and you can send that to your clients directly or you can send it here directly or you could download it yourself and then just email it to them separately um, so real quick here's the editing interface it'll kind of highlight all the editable areas you could delete things uh, add some notes uh, whatever whatever you see fit to edit. So let's uh, let close out of here. And uh, the last thing I want to mention is that they're also email only a client, email only clients. Uh, if you have a client that you can for sure say you don't care if they have their own account, um, you can go here, add new clients, and then add additional email clients. These we do not charge for. So the bonus for you is that this is free to add. I think up to a hundred email only clients and then if uh, this is just kind of a convenience thing if you want to send those people meal plan PDFs without giving them the freedom to kind of switch up their foods maybe you know what this client should and shouldn't be eating and it's just easier if, if they just have a PDF that they can follow that's, that's something that you can do. So that about wraps up the main trainer features uh, if there's anything that uh, wasn't clear or you have other questions about, please feel free to email us at support at eatthismuch.com. And uh, we're generally good about getting back to people within the one or two business days. Um, and uh, if there is anything that a lot of people have questions about, we'll be sure to update this video. Thanks so much.